Hello and welcome to vlog 4 Filon Raskia and in this vlog we're going to be looking specifically at the sluicing operation that is the cleaning of the depleted rock to produce various products and we'll go into that as we go along just topping up the the actual rock crusher with the last of the product that we got that we mined a couple of vlogs ago and uh, then we will go and have a look at the sluicing operation which luckily is right next door so we should have plenty of depleted Martian stone yeah we've got 283 thousand liters so let's get that into the sluicing operation and get that started obviously this is the main raw material for the to be sluiced to be cleaned to be to have different minerals and different things extracted from it so I've just left the markers on because that is a little bit of a problem sometimes finding them nice little animation of the rock going up into the sluicing operation and as with everything else on Mars a fairly small production unit but packs a punch Right, so we are going to need water in there and we'll do our normal little water topping up trick so we just need to go and purchase a new water tanker and we'll get that back down to the to the sluicer I don't know if that's the right terminology for it uh, I think we'll call it our depleted Martian rock extraction of various minerals factory maybe not <laughs> we'll just call it our sluice there we go we'll just get that all topped up there And this is one of those production units that, of course, we can add electricity to it to speed it up. That, to me, is one of the major features of our operation up here, is that we can get going with while we're waiting for electricity to be produced. We can get going with, with our operations just at a, a slower pace. And that's pretty much why right from the word sc scratch or from from the from the go from the start I have um, kind of been banging on about producing electricity because it just makes all the other productions just so much quicker right let's just get this out of the way and then we'll go and have a look and see if we can get some electricity up and running well not up and running collected we should have some somehow I think this tank is probably a little bit overkill for transporting of electricity but the Mack truck is pretty quick and it can get around I have kind of made a decision that we will put in a second plant It'll kind of go here we are turning now um, what we'll do is we'll just then loop around this sunflower field to get in and out so how much have we got on there? Uh, about 2,000 odd litres um, of electricity That'll, I found that the production units don't use an awful lot of electricity uh, so 
does seem to last a little while, but we have been sort of working on these um, different production units in a in a pretty well. Let's put it this way, you know, in a pretty compact sort of way. So we've what I'm trying to say is that um, we really haven't got into full production modes yet. So that will come as we go through the mission. There is a possibility that um, I might have to go back to Earth after one more one more vlog just to um, it's a couple of little bits and pieces that need to be fixed up over here and I think I'll be better served back on earth um, getting those arranged and then once those have been sorted out we will get back to we to where we are so it might be a month or so as we as we do the little tweaks to little things that um, need to be sorted out up here basically the snagging of the of the whole operation so we've got electricity in there we're just trying to find out where to put it, it didn't go in at the at where I expected it I think this is actually a collection point but let's just make sure that this is not where it goes no it doesn't go there doesn't go in there Just make sure that sometimes the triggers are a little bit sensitive. They have to be exactly in the right spot. That's probably because there's quite a few around every production. So we'll just try a, a few different approaches to this one. But I, I really don't think so. I'm pretty sure this is the way. I can hear you all shouting again. Put on the trigger markers. No, definitely not there. Let's try the next one. So we know where the water goes in, so we'll try this one, and if this doesn't work, we'll see possibly it being released from a water tanker. It's probably going to go in. Yeah, it's not there. Let's go and have a look and see if it. I've got a feeling that there's only one other place it can be. It must be around about where the water goes in. One more try. No, it doesn't go in there either. <laughs> So that, I'm pretty sure, if I put the markers on, would have also told me it is a... It is a collection point. Let's have a, yeah, there we go. So it should have thought about the type of vehicle that we are um, delivering with as to where the input is, so similar to a to a water tanker, so it pretty much goes in at the same place where the water does. We will um, hopefully, hopefully when we do our tweaks, it will, we'll have a few more little indications of where the where the various inputs are. That one did sh did, did show water, so look there. We switched it on, and you can see that those are both collection points. Right, so let's have a look and see what we get here. So that's the stone processing plant, which we've already looked at. That's still going. Oh, look at that. That's full up with liquid oxygen. We'll deal with that in this episode as well. I'll show you what happens with the liquid oxygen. And sluice. There we go. So sluice and sluice overdrive. Just having a look there. We've got plenty of depleted stone. There's also methane that comes through from the stone producing plant. That's worth remembering as well. Right, so. We've 
but we don't need to go in there. We'll collect the liquid oxygen in the in the tanker. I think it, that's the way it would be transported. I can't see anywhere else that we should collect it from, except here. Let's have a look. Start filling electric charge. There we go. Liquid oxygen. Get that filled up. And the liquid oxygen um, basically goes straight through to the Mars rocket. I think that is used for the fueling of the Mars rocket. It's fairly, fairly lucrative in terms of income. So we'll get that delivered to the Mars rocket. Let's go and have a look and see where... I'm pretty sure it's the Mars rocket that it goes to. Electric charge, where is it? Where is it? I'm sure... Liquid fertilizer, that's not what we're looking for. Liquid oxygen, there we go. Yeah, Mars rocket. So we get we get eight grand for a thousand liters, so it'll be a fairly lucrative load. So I think we'll just um, pop this down to the train station. Give us another little look at the train and we'll deliver it through to the mass rocket through the train right so to get that onto the train we can't load it directly so we go into the middle section right next to these liquid tank holders and this is where the oxygen gets gets stored and transferred from in onto the train there we go that didn't take long it's another nice thing about this 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 map is um, it doesn't take long to fill up the the various tanks and and silos it seems to work nice and quickly so I think we should get the train summonsed let's just have a look at the progress bar and see so I think this is another neat thing as you can see there where the liquid oxygen sign is that little green line is just showing you that you have liquid oxygen in the in the storage facilities here and of course that gives you an indication of how much you've got in there for the for the mission to mars challenge if you want to call it that so if you remember in the very first vlog we did have a look and see what you re would require to in inverted commas, commas beat Mars basically <laughs> and that is pretty much the scoreboard but it's also a nice little way to just see what you've got in the what's well, another way to see what you've got in the in storage there so we've just got to climb our stairs Luckily I hit the gym just before I came up to Mars. Of course, we haven't shown it yet, but we do have to keep um, ourselves reasonably fit up here and hit the gym just to keep us fit and, uh, and healthy. And of course we don't at this stage know the long long term effects of living in this in this biodome so to speak technically it shouldn't be too much of a problem but you just never know you know it's, we haven't been tested over years and years and years you know? I mean, we do know that the people coming back from the Mars station the, the old international space station we I suppose this is the granddaddy of this operation um, that there was you know 
even though they were exercising because they were in weightless we're not effectively in weightless conditions here but still we need to experiment with that over the over the years that we are up here so we've got the train in we're just going to pull it in nice and slowly we've got the tankers right at the back of the train and we just need to position them under the laser beam light that shows us the the filling point we get the auto connections and then we can pump the liquid oxygen into these liquid holders and we'll get them to the Mars rocket which is still on its way back from Earth at this point in time so we've got liquid oxygen in there get that all filled up and we've still actually got the the oil and the bread on there from the last delivery that's strange and that's one of the little things that we need to get fixed up when we go back down to earth is that um, sometimes if you deliver through the I found if you've delivered through the through the closest portal to the Mars rocket which is directly ahead of us it doesn't always take the product that you off the train so we'll get back to earth and we'll get our technicians working on that that should be a fairly quick fix I would think but what we'll do is we'll just go back the long way and we'll uh, we'll go in backwards so to speak <laughs> and we get that sorted out not a major problem really well, it's, it's something that um, that we need to fix but still in awe with how good this train looks on its monorail fantastic uh, just after this there is a little bit after we've made this, this delivery there's a bit of a a spoiler coming up so if you don't want any spoilers it's got to do with collection of um, of collectibles so then just skip ahead for a couple of minutes after we've made this delivery so this is what we didn't get. We didn't get on the other, when we delivered the other. Do you want to sell? And we have there, and we've got ourselves a hundred thousand, which is not bad for twelve for twelve thousand liters of liquid oxygen plus a bit of bread and oil. So we get left behind. We jump down. We're on this little rocky outcrop here and if you jump off this you will see that there is a nice little entrance under these rocks and a bit of a cave system to be explored very nice just missing a couple of stalagmites and stalactites but that may not be the case maybe there's not a, as much water in the system in the um in the earth down here but yeah a little bit of what you call it there and there we go some collectibles how cool is that little rocket a little model of our mars rocket so let's get these collected and see how much they make us 50 grand not to be scoffed at another one there there should be another 50 grand we click that yeah I wonder if the rocket will be the same or whether it'll be more or not 
let's see. We'll collect that. And that's double, 100,000, so cool little 200,000 made there for having the bravery to venture into the unknown of a Martian cave. Right, let's get back to business. Enough holidaying. So just to give you an idea of where it is, basically behind the animal domes and the the train entrance to to um, to the Mars rocket. So let's get some more depleted Martian stone into the into the sluice. We should start seeing some product in the in the sluice very fairly soon, but we'll save that for the next vlog where we'll take that to the smelter and we will get the refined materials from the smelter into the electronics factory and we'll show you the operation of the ele electronics factory that'll be all in vlog 5 well that's where we're going to end this episode thank you so much for watching vlog 5 will must probably be up in a day or two's time just to try and keep a bit of continuity on this little operation and we'll see you then if you've enjoyed this episode and are enjoying the series please like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one cheerio